I'm here. We're here with Chase today. At uh, this is kind of a uh, aftermath yellow vest uh, get together. We're having a real dialogue, uh, Chase. Uh, so how come you're supporting uh, yellow vest? Uh, because I don't support the uh, United Nations Global Compact on, uh, on Migration and the way that Justin Trudeau is running the country. Okay. Um, I think that the immigration levels and the migration levels that he's setting are uh, just unsustainable, to say the least. Uh, and the main points that I always fall back to are that we have an indigenous population that's on a boil water advisory and 1,500 people dying on the streets of uh, BC alone every year. So taking into account that we can't even take care of the own, the, the, our indigenous, our native population, as well as, I mean, our citizens that are dying on the streets, I don't think it's the best idea to be taking in literally millions of people over the next few years uh, from all over the world that are going to need a lot of help. Um, and I, I wish that we could take in this amount of people. I wish it was possible. I'm not against immigration. I'm not against taking in refugees. But the levels that they're trying to do it are, are unsustainable. So 100%. 100%. Did you know the UN Migration Pact is rooted in Agenda 2030? Yeah. yeah. You know United that, Nations right? Uh, agenda to be the world 2030? Yeah. And Harper. Harper passed that. You know that in 2015. Harper, passed it. Harper in September 2015. Oh. Harper uh, secretly did it at the UN. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Did you know that? Wake up so, call, so does eh? That, does that make the Conservative Party globalists? They're 100 percent globalists. Yeah, that's too bad. They were behind TPP as well, which mm. the Liberals signed on to. So do your homework on all these parties. Yeah, for sure. They're all just smoke and mirrors. And I'll tell you something else about Agenda 2030. You know it's rooted in Agenda 21, right? Um, look up, look up that too. Vaguely. 1992. Mm -hmm. Guess who signed us onto that? Who? Mulroney. <laughs> yeah, of course. Another conservative. Yeah. So uh, be careful with conservative, because if you look at the facts, they're really globalists, right? It's not even that. It's like. I, I mean, I guess so. I mean, UN Migration Pact is referenced in Agenda 2030. Oh yeah, exactly. It's in there. September 2015, signed on to. So what about Andrew Scheer then? And the con current Conservative Party? They all support that. Yeah? They're bullshitting. <laughs> they, they support TPP. Mm -hmm. Same with the Bernay. They also support uh, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. They say nothing about it. Hmm. NCA is the only party that will withdraw us from all three. Well, that's good. I mean, I mean, we need a party, that a more populist party like that. We're 100% grassroots populist. But those are the facts. Mm -hmm. Look them up, everyone. Yeah. They say yeah, right. nothing. Yeah. They say nothing mm -hmm. about Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, it's kind of because because they support it. Wow. They actually signed well, us I, I on didn't to think it. Maxine Bernie would support it. I mean, he does. He doesn't right? say anything. He supports oh. TPP. Hmm. He wants globalist trade with China and India. He calls well, it free I have trade. To look that up. <laughs> Nobody calls it free trade, right. but there's no such thing as free trade. It's globalist yeah. trade, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what they're all about. They're just BSing the Canadian people. Hmm. Those are the facts. Well, I think Canadians are too complicit with all the political parties we have right now. Um, I mean, we got the two main parties, obviously, the Liberals and Conservatives are controlling the show forever. And, and the way that I've seen both those parties is basically like, it's the, the same, what's, I don't even know the saying, the same shoe, other foot or something. I don't know. Something flip, like that. Well, the flip something. sides of the same yeah. coin. Yeah, basically, exactly. basically, what's in Ottawa is all controlled opposition. Yeah. And... Uh, in our opinion, that's why the Bernay created that party because they're worried about a nationalist, true populist party. So they created another controlled opposition to prevent that. There's a status quo in Ottawa that wants to hold on to power. They're all in bed with the globalists. Did you know the UN Migration Pact? I'll give you an example. The UN envoy is a Canadian, Louise Arbor. Did you know who was behind Agenda 21? A Canadian. Of course. Maurice Strong. He's on the Privy Council. Mm. And though all those sh shysters are on the Privy Council, the Queen's Privy Council, mm. Bernier, Hassan, the immigration minister, Harper, Mulcair, Chrétien, they're all idea. on this shadow government. That's, that's what it is. It's just a big charade going on in Canada. So how do we wake up the Canadian people? Actually, we just got to keep sharing our message and we're officially registered so we're a hundred percent grassroots a hundred percent uncontrolled opposition cool but i'll tell you this just getting rid of the u.n migration pack is a joke oh yeah no it's not enough think about it think about it
Agenda 2030 is being implemented across the country on all levels of government. Yeah. You get rid of the UN Migration Pact, that's going to do nothing. Yeah, exactly. Buy you some time, if anything. <laughs> that's going to do nothing. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Right? But it's amazing how people get manipulated in Canada. What is wrong with their brains? I talked to this lady earlier, and, and I think what's happening is people are just listening to sound bites. They're listening to tweets, uh, maybe some of the mainstream coverage, and then they, they assume that, that that's fact. Yeah, well, yeah, it's sad how, how much... It's sad uh, how people are manipulated, but... Mainstream media, like, what an effect it has on the, on the population of the country, and they just blindly... Take they're just, like, everything. brainwashed oh, zombies. Yeah. yeah. They don't it's even sad. know what they're saying. Yeah. <laughs> and they're making decisions on information that's not accurate. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make sense. on things they don't even know the first thing about. Yeah, I, I'm not being critical of you. At least you know about the UN Migration Pact, right? Yeah. But you got to know the history of it and the roots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we... Uh, we did a good presentation on the UN uh, Agenda 2030. We showed the roots of it, hmm. and they they, they actually uh, it's on our it's on our live Facebook okay. video. It's on our YouTube page as well. Check that out on the UN uh, Agenda 2030, and we also did something on the UN Migration Pact as well. Uh, but check those videos out. But we, you know, our purpose is to inform people with the facts. If they don't want to support us, that's fine. But right. but at least have a reason not to support you. Yeah. Like have a reason to be against something. We're just... we're all fact based. Oh, yeah. Just sharing the facts, and we back up everything we're saying. Good. Well, but we're very up. very concerned about what's going on. I think and more I, people should be concerned about what's going on. <laughs> you know, another thing uh, people are uh, deluded by, and it's it's partly because of these globalist conservatives. Mm -hmm. All they talk about is illegal migration because they support mass immigration. <laughs> and it's distracting everybody from the main problem. The main problem is mass immigration. Mm -hmm. Mass legal immigration into what, our what country. Would be your definition of uh, mass legal immigration, like what number? At least 250,000 a year. Mm -hmm. And all those globalists in Ottawa support it. And uh, Maruni started it. It's, just, it's called, it's actually sustained mass immigration. It started in the 1990s, and that's where we're transforming our country. We're replacing our traditional populations. That's what's going on. But they want even more. They're talking about 450,000 oh, yeah, a year. Oh, that's ridiculous. But 250 is, is wrong. We want 50,000 or less. Oh, 50,000. Wow. It's not, it's, not, it's not because we're against immigrants. Right. But we want larger traditional families. Mm -hmm. We don't want to replace our traditional population. Also, we don't believe mass immigration is good for our economy, environment, and society. I mean, growing a country too fast would be detrimental. I mean, especially when the country can't keep up with but, the population. But look at 1967. Canada was 20 million. Mm -hmm. We were one of the most prosperous countries. <laughs> yeah. We live, everyone lived great in Canada. There was a lot of jobs. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, no, that's true. I mean... I wouldn't be informed enough on this subject to give an actual number for how much immigration would be too much. Um, but I think uh, I think 250,000, I thought that, that was a good figure. No, it's way but too much. Yeah, yeah too check much. ours mm -hmm. out. Way, that's mass immigration. Mm -hmm. And plus when you add chain migration, illegal migration on top, you're talking about 300,000 plus. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Think about that. But we are being literally uh, um, organized, planned replacement of our traditional population. This is all according to UN Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. Hmm. What's going on? And traditional on? population, you mean like, like our I'm talking and, um, uh, Anglophone, Francophone, mm -hmm. uh, other Euro-Canadians, uh, First Nations, Inuit, Métis. Mm -hmm. are all, uh, the demographic d data shows that. Well, what do you think about accepting, uh, accepting immigrants who can actually contribute to the economy? 100%, like, all but... All over the world. But not in mass numbers. Right. Okay. Sure. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I can. No, I can agree the with that. the fifty thousand we bring in, they're going to be the best people for our country, <laughs> man. They're gonna yeah. they're gonna be incredible people. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, they're going to be incredible, and uh, they're really going to contribute to our country. Right. But we got to yeah. protect. We got to protect the country, right? And and um, we believe in Canadian citizenry, not mm -hmm. global citizenry. Exactly. Yeah. We believe in Canadian that. sovereignty. Not no borders. Yeah. Like these nutcases. Ridiculous right? idea. Yeah. 
So oh, I wish I was here for that. <laughs> I would have loved to. But there's video up there. Them. You can check it out later. Yep. It's going to be up there. But uh, at least we showcased it, right? Yeah, exactly. But uh, I really appreciate you supporting Yellow Vest. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Appreciate you know you they were calling us racist today. <laughs> can you believe it? And all I said, immigrant well, isn't a race. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I'm wearing this because I'm anti-globalist. Yeah, right? Like yeah, you, that's here. it. Yep. Anti-globalist UN and that's what you said. Right? Exactly. And what about your hat? Make Canada great again. Uh, kind of a play on words with Trump's Make America yeah. Great Again, obviously. Um, I think I just think it's a good slogan. Um, it's actually from a friend. She's not here now, but a friend of mine just gave it to me and said, hey, you want to wear this? And I thought, yeah, sure. Like, I want to bring back uh, what made Canada great just a, a matter of years ago like it used to be a great country that everybody could just walk around and feel safe get along with everybody easily not worry about foreign organizations controlling our borders and nowadays we actually have things that we need to be worrying about because the, the country's going it's, it's got a, a slow decline going on right now and it's unfortunate because I love this country I thought it was the best in the world exactly a matter of like a couple of years ago yeah yeah check out our policies please check them out yeah for sure and we got lots of videos so uh True grassroots, uh, true uncontrolled opposition, that's what we need, mm -hmm. right? We yep. don't need any more controlled opposition, do we? Yeah, totally, no. But, okay, thanks. Yeah, Excellent stuff. Yeah, thank, thank you for joining. It. Yeah, yeah, thanks.